Hey, hi, hello, my name is Mylin, and I did have something very different planned for today, but since this video came out, um, I thought I would post my first ever reaction video because why not? So now we're going to dive into Allison Gold's Chinese food. I don't know why they're gonna have this guy talk at the beginning if they're not gonna put subtitles and there's a rainbow coming out of the noodles. I feel like there's something just fundamentally wrong with a 12 year old saying that post clubbing she is grumpy while walking around on the street by herself until she goes into this Chinese food and yep there is like an eight year old girl working behind the counter. I just like how the Asian girl behind the counter just gives her a look like this bitch is crazy. Problem I have with this song so far is that it is painfully accurate. I feel like many people share this relationship with Chinese food. Okay, there's a giant panda. This panda is so creepy. Oh my god. Oh, yep. And it all makes sense. It's the same guy in Friday and that freaking Thanksgiving song. Mystery solved. I don't know why he just dipped his finger in that, but okay. Well, that's racist. Geishas are definitely from Japan. But why not? Wait, so is this the panda's house or is it her house? Okay, never mind, that answers that question. He just flew out of his her house with a rainbow trail behind him. So that was a thing. And that is officially the last thing that I'm watching before I'm heading off to class. So that's cool. I can't tell if I hate this song or if it'll become a guilty pleasure just because I also feel the same way about noodles and chow mein. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to class with that being the last thing on my mind. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Eh, I think the song about the jeans is still the best one.